and packing can be really stressful and overwhelming, but it doesn't have to be. So here are some of my favorite tips for having an easy, stress-free moving experience. Number one tip is to purge and to purge ruthlessly, to purge often. When you think you're done purging, keep going. Keep editing the spaces you think that you've already tackled. Honestly, you guys, there is nothing better than packing as little as possible and only the things you know you're absolutely gonna love. And when you move into the new house, you're not gonna miss any of those things that you were like kind of on the fence about. Once they're gone and out of your home, out of your mind, you can just move into the new space with the items you love and really unpack and make the space your own without a million extra boxes everywhere of the random stuff you don't know what to do with. Tip number two, do not pay for boxes. You guys can get so many free boxes from so many different places. I understand if you're on a time crunch and you don't have time to maybe go out or ask friends, but if you have even just a little bit of extra time, you can get free boxes. My brother-in-law works retail and he was able to give me so many free boxes from the, you know, items that come into the store. Another great resource is liquor stores. I found liquor store boxes to be the best for packing fragile items because they're already pre sort of like organized for you with the little dividers that the liquor bottles would go into. I found these to be perfect for my milk glass collection for fragile home decor items. Like I said, another great option is grocery stores because the big boxes that bananas come in as well as apples, those are perfect for moving because they're big and sturdy. They're meant to hold a lot of weight and again, they're free. And one more free resource for boxes is to go on Craigslist or local Facebook pages or somewhere, some sort of online um, buy, sell, trade site. And a lot of people that have moved are more than willing to give away their boxes. And something else you can do that's really helpful if you have kids, just call ahead to some stores and just let them know that you're moving, that you're looking for boxes, and they could probably have them ready for you just outside the store. Go and pick them up, put them in your trunk. You don't have to get the kids out and be hauling boxes around. If you just call and ask, they are more than willing to help you out and to provide free boxes. Another tip is to not remove things from their original containers as often as you can. So what I mean is like if you have a dresser and they have all these drawers filled with items, rather than taking all those items out and wrapping them and packing them away individually, just get something like this. This is moving wrap or like, you know, saran wrap, plastic wrap, whatever you want to call it. So what I'm going to do is just take out the drawers from my dressers and wrap them with this wrap and then when I move to the new house, just cut off the wrap and put the dresser drawer right back in and everything is already unpacked. I'm also gonna do the same thing for our bedside tables. I'm not gonna take anything out. I'm just gonna wrap the whole table and they'll be good to go. You can also use this for if you have bins of toys or you know boxes of anything really, just wrap it with this wrap and that makes unpacking so super simple. My next tip is to use what you have to pack what you have. Basically, don't pack anything empty. Don't bring an empty suitcase with you to a new house. Fill it with heavy books, heavy shoes, because it's on a roller. You can just fill it with the things that you need to move and roll it right into the new house and unpack it. You don't have to, again, use an extra box. Just use what you have. Also, socks. I'm using a lot of socks to wrap fragile items, especially like in my bedroom. I have a little vintage perfume bottle collection and I just wrapped them in socks and then put them in a box, a small box. You don't want to fill a big box with anything too heavy and fragile. Um, and then when we get to the new house, I can just unpack them, roll the socks up, and I've unpacked packed two areas at the same time. And definitely if you have reusable shopping bags, if you have purses and overnight bags, don't bring any of those things empty. Fill them with the stuff that you're moving. And again, you're saving on those packing materials. My next tip may be one that you've heard already, but again, don't take your clothes off of their hangers to pack them and then pack the hangers separately. Just use a plastic garbage bag and just wrap it around your clothes and tie it around the top of the hanger. And then when you get to the new house, just hang them in your new closet, take off the garbage bag and use it to throw away trash. And my last tip when it comes to packing and moving and more so the packing aspect, have one spot to keep all those packing necessities. So for me, I have this 31 bag that somebody gave to me for a gift and in here I have some Sharpie markers. These are the really big fat ones. These are the perfect for labeling boxes, which you definitely want to do. Label, label, label. And inside I have this little bag of labels. And again, I got these on Amazon. They came in a roll like this, but it was much longer. I separated out the ones I wasn't gonna use, like 
bathroom number three and a study. Our house doesn't have that. So I just separated out the ones I'm going to be using and I'm gonna use these to label all the boxes so that everyone knows where everything goes and there's no confusion on moving day. Also inside I have my wrap that I just showed you and some packing tape. Things like packing tape and Sharpies, you can buy these at like the dollar store. But for me, I would rather spend just a tiny bit more money. This was literally $1.99 versus the dollar store's $1, but it's so much better quality. I just want everything to be working. I want everything to be sturdy. Again, with the markers, I don't want them to run out after I write on five boxes. I sprung for the $3 Sharpies pack of two um, and spent just a little bit more money, but I know I'm getting better quality. And one tip when you're using packing tape is to fold over a little corner of the edge of your tape when you wrap a box. That'll make it so easy to unpack the boxes when you get into the new house and you don't have to use a box cutter. You can just pull them right open and again you don't have to have a knife or anything to open a box. Just pull the tape right off. Super simple. Okay, two more bonus tips. Number one, make some make-ahead dinners so that when you get to the new house, you don't have to stress about what's for dinner. I actually made a bunch of these. We're bringing one to friends who just had a baby tonight, but I still have four more in the freezer so we don't have to rush and worry about what's for dinner when we move. Okay, bonus tip number two. This one's really important. Have somewhere to keep all of those important like mortgage documents and all sorts of things. You're gonna get quotes from contractors or just the plethora of documents you're going to receive have somewhere to put them I got this little file folder from the Dollar Tree but you could have a binder you could have a planner just something that's dedicated to the house keeps everything organized and all in one place so those were my packing and moving tips I wanted to share with you guys we are still a little less than two weeks out from our actual move so these are the things we've tackled so far I will have more tips to share as we get closer to that moving day so I hope you found these helpful if you are moving or you enjoyed these moving tips definitely give this video a thumbs up and I cannot wait to take you guys to the new house and show you how everything gets all set up and organized and renovated and I'm so excited if you have not and you would like to definitely click my face right here and subscribe then you will know all about the upcoming renovations and house moving progress. Thanks so much for watching guys. I love you and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.